Aha! There you are all. A very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClure. And we are, of course, live on the big one. We're live on Facebook Live. It's Sunday night. Nothing gets past me. Sunday, the 27th of November, 2016. So, a very warm welcome to the program. Lovely to have you with us. We're only here for an hour. We'll do shout-outs and we will take calls. But first, you'll be saying to me, what are we talking about tonight, Scotty? I hear you screaming at your computers and your phones. Well, well, I shall tell you, we're talking about should we ban tobacco? Should we actually outlaw tobacco? That's one of them. And also, why is there always such a fuss about the monarchy? It costs us 52 pence a year. A bargain. Right, dinky do, Scotty McClure with you right now. Wadge is watching. Evening, Scotty, says Andy Taylor. Roddy Martin is watching, a very fine fellow. David Ditchfield, hi, Ditchy. Dinky do to you, of course. Kevin Malcolm McGregor is watching. Hey, hey, Scotty, dinky do, fellas, says Rob Dunn. Dave Hemsley is watching in Lancashire. Hello, my pal, says Paul Goffy Goff. One of the biggest broadcasters in the country and a terrific talent agent. Paul Goffy Goff. Paul Goffy Goff in the northeast there. He is like down with the Geordies, you know what I'm saying? Like, and uh, Jen Perrette is watching. I think you do. Andy Grant's watching. Ian Cook, a very fine fellow up in Dundee is watching. Jada is watching Dinky Doo and Andy McCrory is watching. Gavin McCoy is watching. Another very, very fine broadcaster, very senior man. Gavin McCoy. Michael McGuigan's watching. Mark Jones is watching. Lee Birkinshaw, very fine fellow. All great people. This is wonderful. Albert McSquared says he's shared the video. Can everybody share and share and share all the time? We'll have share points in the program. We'll have them at 15 at 30 and 45 because we only have an hour and we have to finish at 11 o'clock sharp so tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that scotty mcclue is live on facebook live that is the big one the one everyone's watching and the one everyone is talking about now then alex robertson's watching another top man of course great actor pantomime wonderful pantomime actor um baron uh, baron um, pollock I think he's playing in a Glasgow pantomime. The old Baron Hardop part there, marvellous. James McGill's watching. Hi, James. Andy Rutherford is watching. Hello to you, Andy. Lovely to hear from you again. Another fine broadcaster. Joe Fraser Wallace is watching. Joe Fraser Walls, I should say. Bobby Gracie, a tremendous businessman and a delightful, delightful fellow, is watching. Big, big player, Bobby Gracie, uh, in America and throughout the United Kingdom, of course, and the rest of the world. Bobby Gracie, big man in insurance. Tremendous the sky uh, so we've got all of you watching here's what we're talking about now you don't have to talk about these subjects but I think it's important that we do raise them we're looking at banning tobacco it actually has no possible use at all to the human body it doesn't improve health so why do we have it and um, who else is watching oh you're all watching that's absolutely marvelous now a lot of news has been happening this week, so we've got a bit of a catch-up um, to get on with. And that is, I don't know if you've heard of the Mannequin Challenge. Have you heard of the Mannequin Challenge? Well, this week, Friday night, Scotty McClue did the Mannequin Challenge. It's a big viral thing throughout the internet. And you will see me staring at the screen for over four minutes, in excess of four minutes, without blinking. Right, that's not easy. Try that when you haven't had anything to drink. Douglas William Bryce is watching. Stephen McCafferty says, lol, lol, back to you, Stephen, I say. So there we go. And also, why do we have so much fuss about the monarchy? When anybody mentions the Queen on Facebook, half of the people go, ah, God bless you, Your Majesty. God save the Queen, and all that, and the others go, Oh, it's ridiculous! The money! The money! When people are starving! It's a different budget, loves. It's a different budget. There's a lot to explain to you. You can go onto YouTube, of course, and you'll see Scotty McClue explains the monarchy. So, John Toms is watching, a very fine broadcaster, fine businessman, great chap, John. Very nice man as well. Very nice man. Uh, can you give a shout-out to Maggie from Basford in Nottingham? Yes, Scotty, would you include banning the wacky backy, says Craig Dunsmore. Yes, I would, Craig. 
When's your ringtone coming, Scotty? He says, Innes McDermott, Innes. Good news, the ringtones are here. You get onto Scotty McClue's website, www.scotty-mcclue.com, and there you will see ringtones under a fiver. So if you wanted something for your donation, you can pick up a ring ringtone for under a fiver. Now, they are degraded in quality on the website, so don't think, oh, no, have not that. Your ringtone will be of perfect quality. But if you listen to them, they've been intentionally degraded by the web people, the webites. Hello, Scotty, have a great night, says Lynn Finlayson. You too, Lynn. You have a wonderful night. Uh, people need a release, a thing they can do so they can feel like the world is not as damaged as it seems. And that's why people do tobacco, says Scott Anderson. No, not at all. A wee dab, Scotty, says Elliot Seth Faber. Well, <laughs> just since it's yourself, Elliot, you know. Adam Alsenberg, your chat's average. Well, yours is very dull, Adam, I have to say. Uh, thanks, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Sorry, I'll spray that again. Douglas William Bryce, that's a wee forget-me-not you have there, Scotty. Yes, a wee forget-me-not. I like my, my alpine flowers, my Edelweiss and my forget-me-nots. There it's there, a wee forget-me-not. Nice wee badge. Thomas Dreg Horn is watching. Hi, Scotty, good to see you tonight, says Yvonne Boyd McLennan. Yvonne Boyd McLennan, it's good to see you any time, I say. Enjoy your broadcast, Scotty, says Peter Parrott. I will, Peter. Geese a tune, says Emily Stables. No, I'm not giving you a tune in the accordion because I think we might do something at Hogmanay. You've really only got the BBC and they'll be doing the usual stuff. I love the video you shared about the depressed guy and you brought him out of his dark place, says Angie Thompson. Oh, yes. Rob from Southport. Ross Cullen says, ooh, Adam. Kevin Malcolm McGregor, I wish folk would stop smoking in my close. Scotty, I think a ban on tobacco, yes. Women drivers are great, says Adam. Bobby Gracie says, a big shout out for young Max Gracie. He needs a dinky-doo before he heads to bed. Off you go to bed, young Max Gracie. We need the children to get to school in the morning. Every day is a school day, Bobby. That's what I say to you. Stop, ban smoking, and you need to ban everything that does damage to us. The earth, this is not going to happen, Lee Birkinshaw. If Scotty McClue says it's happening, it's happening. Big time. How do you feel about single mothers who smoke tobacco and drive Scotty? Mark John Conway. Obviously, I've seen some dreadful, dreadful parking from the women drivers. And they may well be single mothers and they may well smoke as well. Trisha Freeman's watching. Dinky Doo, Trisha. Jimmy Fitzpatrick is watching, I tell you. I need a fag, Scotty. Says Dino the Dog. Dino the Dog. Do not smoke. So there you go. Heather Johnson says, Hello, my friend Scotty. How's you? I am dinky-doo, Heather Johnson, dinky-doo. Eleanor McKinnon, never smoked, not even tried it. Well, I actually did when I was younger, but I'm very glad I haven't touched it for years and years and years and years and years. All right, sir, says Matthew. All right, Matthew, dinky-doo. Kevin McDonald uh, has just shared the video along with another 14 people. That's 15 shares. Dinky Doo, what's the time? Seven uh, minutes we'll be sharing. Rona McKenzie is watching Dinky Doo, Rona. Shug McGinty is watching. James Bowers watching. Women drivers are okay when I can't be bothered, says Steve. I suppose they'll take you to the pub. Smoking is disgusting, says Yvonne Boyd McLennan. Quite right, Yvonne Boyd McLennan. Ross Cullen, congrats, Eleanor, Dinky Doo, from Heather in Johnson. Did you do two Heather Johnson? Says Darren Johnston. And uh, oh, Heather Johnston. She's not in Johnson. It's Heather Johnson. Dinky do Heather Johnson. Barry Watt. Ban the fags. Hate breathing other people's smoke. Cyclists should pay road tax, Scotty, says Sandy Howden. And uh, Lee Birkinshaw, I'd love smoking to be banned, but I'd love other foods to be banned. I've never touched a cigarette. They're gross, says Emily Stables. Hello, Scotty, says Rona. Rob Dunn has shared. Thank you for that, Rob. Evening, Scotty. Dinky Doo from East Kilbride. We cover the whole planet, and we take in East Kilbride as well. Can you explain your tie, says Malcolm? Yes, I can, Malcolm. There you are. It is a very fine tie indeed. And it is navy blue, maroon, and a sort of olive green. Uh, I was kidding, Eleanor. Hey, Owen. Marvellous just to see you. Uh, who else have we got? Heather Johnston is my mother, Scotty, says Darren. 
Well, that's cleared that up, Darren. Thank goodness you're on here. Sherlock Holmes, I'm going to be calling you. Bring your talk show back on the radio, Scotty, says Hugh Miller. Well, no, I don't know, Hugh. Facebook Live is bigger than any radio station. Scotty, can't we let the women drive at night and keep the road clear for the men during the day, says Thomas Dreghorn. Fantastic. Dinky do, says Luke. Uh, uh, Trisha, to Luke, sorry, take your bonnet off and let's see your baldy head, says Robbie. I do not have a baldy head, Robbie. There you are. Just a little bit, uh, maybe at the front there, a little bit of recess. Dear the Doug, I nominate Scotty McClure to do the Ice Bucket Challenge. Now, that's old stuff. That's not done. This is the Mannequin Challenge, and you'll see it. You'll see the Mannequin Challenge on Facebook, so look it up. Also, if you want a Scotty McClure ringtone so that your phone goes, Dink, you do get that phone, then you can go on to Scotty McClure's website, and you will see that you can pick up a ringtone. They're just under a five. Are any chance of a shout-out for James Bowers and so on? Murdoch, yes, of course there is. East Coast Bride, Dinky Do, I say. James Kiddle, I've told ten to tell, ten to tell, ten. At least if smoking's legal, it can be regulated, says Emily Stables. Good point, Emily. Yes, 20 fags in a packet, they're regulated. Nathan Dunsmore, Scotty. Have you ever been to the Dominican Republic? Not today, I have to say. Cheers, just a wee drop of cocoa tonight. Mm. Oh, that is lush. That is absolutely lush. Opinion, says Andrew Thomas. Should kids 11 to 15 outside the school be punished, yet the school won't because it's outside the gates? I don't like walking through toxic clouds. It's disgusting. The kids are always puffing away. Vapors stink to ban them, says Stevie McChops. Who needs radio when we've got Scotty here? Dinky do. I agree. I think in theory, if you think about it, this Facebook Live program could way overtake any radio or television station. Where's my shout out, Scotty, he says Frank McElroy. You've had it lie. You've just had it. Smoking is a filthy habit. I do not do it. Mind Mike the Mouth, says Dave Huskisson, R.I.P., a wonderful chap, Mike the Mouth, big, big phone-in presenter in the northeast of uh, this country, like, you know what I'm saying, based Newcastle Gates head, and that was Mike the Mouth, and he was a wonderful guy, lovely actor as well, you'll see him in Billy Elliot. Uh, have you ever eaten Somalian food, says Ross, not tonight, Ross, no, I haven't. Uh, good evening, Scotty. I used to listen to your Talk 107. I've not missed a show on here either. You're doing a great job, says Francis from Grangemouth. Thank you, Francis. Where are the numpty Scotty? says Dino the Doug. Oh, they're all out there, Dino. Do not panic. There's five vape shops in Motherwell. Nothing but vape shops. I take it you cycle, Scotty. Pay your tax, Sandy Hound. Do you cycle, Sandy? Do you have a bike? I met some wasps during the summer and they had a bike. And uh, give us a house tour, Scotty, says Adam. Oh, you'd love a, a tour of McClue Towers, Adam, wouldn't you? Fantastic. Are you still in touch with Wolfgang, says Dan McWilliams? Yes, we hear from Wolfgang now and again by email. Give me a mention, Scotty, says Mark Ferry. Anyone else notice the spreaders are seen out in the road with lights flashing, but they're in fact not spreading? Saw it last year, seeing it again. Could this be a sneaky cost-cutting exercise? Now, I would imagine the spreaders would never ever do that. They're timing it so they get it right. Scotty, give us a wave, says Grant Black. Hello, crads. Uh, lots of wasps and bikes. Is it a Pokemon, I say? Scotty, is it true that, like me, you are a Mary Hill boy? Absolutely, just at the end of Shakespeare Street there, Gary. And uh, retirement home, says Craig Duncan. Oh, Craig, are you good? I hope it's a nice one and you're enjoying it. Pass on my love to Matron. Frank McConnell says, hi, Scotty. And uh, Adam says, Skype. So there we are. Yes, Skype me. Feel free to Skype. Scotty.McClue. Class, says Grant Black. Quite right, Grant. Uh, we will have the monarchy for many, many years, no matter what. We should all be grateful for the job they do for the UK, says Frank McElroy. Yes, Frank indeed. And at 52 pence a year. What a bargain after what they bring in. Scotty, can you do us a setup video? Of course I can. What's your thoughts on e-cigs? Should they be banned? Well, obviously you're slightly better than e-cig than a cig. But um, I think we shouldn't be looking at the whole smoking thing at all. You don't need it. 
McClure, can you recommend anywhere that does gluten-free black pudding suppers, says Gordon Stilling. Now, Gordon, I shall tell you, I've gone gluten-free and my uh, psoriasis, remember I showed you I had the psoriasis, is so much better. Thoughts on Joe Doodoo's uh, crushing of Partick Thistle, says Adam. Well, there you are. I went to Partick Thistle one day and um, I wasn't sure how to get to Fur Hill, asked the policeman. He said, follow the crowd and ended up in Asda. So there we are. Uh, better together gritters are out spreading fear. Scott is the best, says Matthew. I don't think gritters are actually political at all, uh, Matthew Ritchie, I have to say. Do you know Bunhouse Street, Scotty? I was born there. I know the lot. Uh, absolutely no problem at all. Can you shout out to Harris McLean, says James McPherson. Of course I can. Hazel Donnelly's watching. Scotty, I can't work out this Skype thing. Jarvis, download your Skype, put Scotty.McClure in, and we'll come back. Share your thoughts on Fidel Castro, leader or dictator, and what Scotty could do for an independent Scotland, says Dan McWilliams. Yes, if you had me... As uh, the First Minister or the President of Scotland, I would not put up with any nonsense, I would tell you. And I would certainly be telling Westminster what was what. Um, Clarkston should be gluten-free, says James Barrett. Excellent. Share your thoughts on Fidel Castro. Well, I think he was a remarkable individual. He was a cigar smoker, I think, wasn't he, Fidel? And um, apparently, if you go to Cuba now, there's quite a lot of old-fashioned things to be seen so it might be worth a look before it all changes uh, get him in still game says scott farker thank you very much scotty McClure in still game you don't need alcohol as well says esther hart esther you're quite right you don't actually need alcohol robbie fraser says hiya hiya robbie hi like sturgeon scotty excellent she is wonderful sandy you're quite right nicholas sturgeon fantastic alex salmond fantastic politicians do you know spears wharf it's a beautiful part of glasgow i know spears wharf very very well eleanor mckinnon do you know the dog the end of the world is nice scotty i don't think so and uh, prelims tomorrow says logan logan good luck with that you will be absolutely fine do your stuff in fact you're the one person i would excuse boots don't be listening to the clue go and get on with your prelim and uh, do all your revision Definitely needed in Still Game, says Hazel Donnelly. Well, if any of you have got contacts with Still Game, you get in touch with them and say, what about a wee cameo for Scotty McClure, a wee one-off appearance? Can you shout out to Big David Wilson? He is the man, says James McPherson. Big David Wilson is the man, James. Ban breathing as well, says Steve Burrows. Steve, don't be silly. I mean, you know, grow up. Get rid of it. What are you chatting about, says Robbie Fraser. Well, if you'd been here at 10 o'clock sharp, Robbie, like the rest of us were, the whole world can make it. So what's your problem? Then we're talking about smoking and the royal family um, only cost us 52 pence a year. Good to have you back, Scotty, by the way. Uh, I've been 17 years off the drink. Uh, that's Sean from Dander Hall. Dinky do, Sean. And many, many, many congratulations on being off the sauce there. Phonies, Scotty. Phonies, nosies deeply stuck in the troughs of Sandy Howden. Well, Sandy, you have a look at your Labour Party uh, going back since 1997, if you're talking about troughs. You have a wee sniff around there, Sandy. Scotty, what's your thoughts on long-term unemployment? I felt so sorry for people who can't find a job. How can we get our country working again? Well, we all need to create wealth. Wealth creation. Now, I noticed... The Chancellor of the Exchequer had given 6.7 million to a great big mansion in Yorkshire. I do not mind this because it is a fabulous old mansion and there's a great story to it. And when the aristocrats lived in the mansion, they were great people, people, and you could use all the grounds of this mansion, right? Wentworth Woodhouse, it's called. Check it out on the internet. Wentworth Woodhouse. Lovely old mansion. And um, what did Manny Shinwell's lot do when they took over the coal board? They ploughed up the grounds. My wife's bad with psoriasis and we've tried everything to get rid and you cannot. Lee, it's very, very difficult to get rid of psoriasis, but I will let you know how this goes on. I'll show you the back of my hand here. Just taking off my mitt. Now you look at that. That was absolutely covered. And look how calm it is.
Is that not fabulous? So there you go. So that's diet. Big Rubes is now going to bed. Can you say night night Rubes? He's been driving and he's got his theory tomorrow. Yes, James, no bother at all. Uh, Jamie Gowan says Snowden. Ah, yes, a very fine part of Wales there. Excellent. Here's one for Wednesday night, Scotty. Do a live feed with Jimmy Shand playing in the background. Oh, marvellous. I would love that. I would love that. No, says Brian Keenan. We don't know what you're saying no to, Brian, but there you are. Honey G. Miss you already and can't wait for the tour tickets to go on sale. I think I should probably do a wee something in, um, in uh, has Britain's Got Talent? I should be judging. A superb judge in all that stuff. In uh, Britain's Got Talent and the X Factor and all that kind of stuff. Innocent, damn it. Give us a dab, Scotty. Ooh, a wee dab for you. There you go. And uh, I used to live near Wentworth Woodhouse. It's a lovely building, a lovely estate. I'm glad it's been saved says Lee Buckinshaw. So am I, Lee. The first time I saw Wentworth Woodhouse, I walked into the grounds and I thought, there's been something very big here. I can't see any sight of it. And I kept walking up. I'd gone in at the old, um, the village entrance, you know, the old Lady Mabel College. And I walked all the way up and then I turned round and there was this house that makes other great houses look like shacks. Uh, please shout out to Upper 90. He's got a YouTube Video coming out tomorrow, says James. Absolutely. John Hewson is watching. Ah, John, I'll see you when I get my glasses. All the rest of it. John Hewson, wonderful, wonderful marketing man. Tremendous chap and um, very big in broadcasting, very big in radio. John Hewson. So there you are. Sales and marketing uh, in the radio industry. Fantastic. McClure, this is Scotland, not England, mate. Well, you've just blown it. You've called me mate. That's an English saying. So you should not be calling me mate. I will tell you that for nothing. Whew, roasting hot here. I think I'll have to give myself a wee mop down. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Marvellous stuff. There we go. Hadn't expected it to be so warm tonight, to be quite honest with you, but it is. Anyway, not to worry. Elnar, I thought you said night. Hi, Scotty. Do you remember Greta from Lead Hills with the gold panning? Yes, I do, Kenneth Clark. I do. Go for the judge's chair on The Voice. You would be superb. Right. Scotty, can you give a big shout out to Leanne and Catwoman, says Frank McConnell. Of course I can, Frank. It's a long walk to the house past the college and the old stables. Well, Lee, when I saw the old stables, which looked like Versailles, I thought that was the house. And then I realised it was the stables. Fantastic. There we are. Open the window in the mansion, says Thomas Dreghorn. What's your highlights on broadcasting, Scotty? What's your best and worst? I've never really had a worst broadcasting. Fool, says Adam Osterberg. I don't know who he's talking about himself. He's maybe just cashing in there. Is your lucky meter rigged, Scotty? Says Dino the Doug. <laughs> it's costing a fortune to light this set, I will tell you. Although we are uh, doing some work. Um, on equipment so the program will just get better and better cheers uh, you've got some great advice you should be a football manager the players would listen to you yes of course they would that was a terrible cheeky thing to say says ross cullen yes it was how dare people cheek up to scotty McClure? a big shout out for wee diane from glasgow says diane d mac scotty you are so addictive lol says eleanor mckinnon oh marvelous lol to you i say Giuseppe Bacchetti has just joined us. So, ciao, ciao. And um, hello, hello, Giuseppe. See, si, see. Si. Scotty, wee fat Bob. Don't know anything about wee fat Bob. Couldn't tell you anything about him. What brought you to the lovely village of Wentworth, says Lee Buckinshaw? I used to work at Hallam FM Radio Lee in Sheffield and Hillsborough there. And um, I stayed out near Wentworth. And I can tell you every single aspect of the history of Wentworth Woodhouse. I can tell you all about the Fitzwilliams. I can tell you all about um, the gardens, about the coal board ploughing them up, about what good people the Fitzwilliams actually were. Uh, there was, I think there was something like almost a billion pounds a day coming into that house and a million pounds a day in old money when you go back to the 1700s. Scotty, you're going ten to the dozen. Slow down, man, and take a breath. Quite right, Dan. I'll take a breath. Now, am I having cocoa? This one here. Argyle pottery. Very nice. Can you see that? Or a sip of water. Mm. Oh, that's lovely, that. 
Uh, one broadcaster to another, Ian Hume says, hello, hello, Ian, dinky-doo, Versailles, brilliant, love the program, never knew much about Louise, it's actually Louis, Wentworth, was that not a prison, no, no, there is a, I think there is a Wentworth prison, yeah, but, um, no, this is Wentworth, which is a beautiful big mansion, look it up, and you'll see all about it, it was saved by an architect, uh, from London, who sadly passed away. Columbo Lament, says Jimmy Gowan. Is that your nickname, Jimmy? We need the big man back on the radio. We've got electric in lead hills. Who is calling here? Frank. Let's see if we get Frank on. Hello, Frank. You're live on Scotty. What is that, you Scotty? How are you getting on, Frank? Are you dinky do? Are you dinky do? Turn your radio down, Frank. Can you hear me? Hello? Uh, hello, Frank. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, Scotty. Hello, Frank. How are you? I'm, di I'm doing good. Are you doing, doing good? good? Are you dinky do? Eh, uh, uh, turn it down. Turn it down. I turn can, it down. I can hear you a wee bit. You can hear us a wee bit I'm, now, Frank. Good man. Aye. Is it, is it even? Are you all I'm right there? I'm doing good. I, I want to do, I want to do talk. I want to do talk about Theresa May. You want to talk to Theresa May? What do you want to say to her, Frank? Right. I can't really hear you, Scotty, but... You can't hear me. Are you listening? I'm, you know, I'm using my computer. You're using your computer, and are you doing well with it, Frank? Yeah. I don't think you are. Oh, there you go. Right. I think Frank's struggling a wee bit with his computer. Kenneth Clark, I was looking at moving down there, says uh, uh, Dan McWilliams. Uh, geez, that was loud, says Andy Thompson. It was quite loud, actually. Manky Frankie, says Jonathan Taylor. Now then, Scotty, you and Fat Bob would make a great show. I'm sure we would. Uh, Thomas Banford's watching and John Gattons is watching. John, do you say Gattons or Gattons? I've always wondered about that. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. If you're wondering what on earth's going on, you're listening to Scotty McClue. If you haven't heard of Scotty McClure, you're obviously an alien life form from another planet. But you're very, very welcome, we say. The human race listens, and so do some of the outsiders. And you'll maybe even hear them on here. Scotty, I think that's most famous radio taking the mick out of you. Can't really understand that. A shout out, says Laurie Haig. That's his ma, says Trisha. I remember you on Hallam FM now. Must have been about 17 years ago. It slipped my mind there. Who is this calling us? Roy. Right, we'll see what Roy's saying to it. Hello, Roy. Can you hear me? Hello, Roy. Can you hear Hello, me? Hello, Scotty. Hello, how are you getting on? Are you dinky do? Hello, Scotty. Hello, Roy. Can you hear me? Oh, I think we're through oh. to the answer phone. Yep. No, I don't think we are. There we are. Right, you might be through to the answer phone. I'm not. Uh, I need to stick headphones in, Scotty, says Frank McConnell. No problem. And uh, you... Hey, what about me, says Trisha. So there you go. And Adam says, quite. What about you? Right, if you've just joined us, can you... We're coming up to a share point. So half past... Can everybody share, share, share? Here's Roy calling back. We'll see if he's through to the answer phone. Hello, Roy. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Roy. How are you? Hello. Hello, Hello Scotty. Hello, Roy. Can you hear me? No, if you can hear me, Scotty. I can't. Can, Scotty. Can you hear me? Well, hold on a second. Let's try oh, let's this. Go. Let me close the other page now. Hello. Hello. How are you? Can you hear me? Ah, so I've closed the Facebook page now. I can hear you now, Scotty. You can hear me now. That's excellent. What's happening with you? Uh, Scotty, well, I've, I've been quite busy, Scotty. I was with Simon Cowell and Mrs. Brown from Mrs. Brown's Boys Friday night. Fantastic. We oh. like that. Yes, indeed. Yeah, well, you give a clue I mention, of course, because it's what, time Scotty. I was on there judging. You know what, Scotty? They call some of these celebs and that. Well, it's a big VIP charity do. They all gave the time freely. Simon came, Alton came, loads of people came, mate. Big private charity do. Loads of money raised. You can't not. They're just normal people. Of course they are. It's fantastic. And listen, I'm delighted to hear that. But you give them a clear mention because I should be judging on that program. Well, I did. I did mention it to Simon when I got a brief chat with him. I yeah. said, "Have you heard of Scotty McClue?" 
He says, the controversial radio broadcaster. That's what he said. That's what he said, yes. No, that's good stuff. That's good stuff, absolutely. Well, I think we'd make a fabulous judge with my knowledge of music and drama, you see. He knows of you. Yes. Oh, everybody knows Scotty McClure. But I spoke to a guy that runs a television station recently, and I said, um, you know, do you want me to do a program for you? And, well, the problem, Scotty, is you've got a Scottish accent. Oh, I still understand you. I would have thought so. You know, it's very strange. Barbara Ann Higgs watching. But, Scotty, I understand you more than I understand uh, Billy Connolly. Yes, all that sort of idea. So there you go. Well, very strange, isn't it? Scotty, M Scotty McClure for King, that's all I can say. Hey, dinky do. Lovely to talk to you. Goody night. Goody night. All, all the best, Law. <laughs> there you go. What a super guy. Everybody's going to get him off. Still game team. Tam and I are waiting to hear from McClure on Twitter in the morning, says Bobby. That is tremendous. <laughs> Fantastic. It's a famous radio station taking the mick. It's from a famous radio station taking the mick. And uh, who else have we got? Get that clown off, says Thomas Draghorn. Very harsh. McClure, can you sack the sound engineers? This is a shambles, a shambles, a shambles. An affront to public service broadcasting, says Gordon Sterling. Now, Gordon loves to moan. I've never, ever, ever heard Gordon say a positive thing. What's the difference between... Um, oh, no, I don't know that we'll go there. John Gaton says it's pronounced Gaton's, Scotty. Excellent. Good, good. Good night, says Nathan Livingston. Good night to you, Nathan. Sleep well. Glenn Campbell, so there you are. Uh, oh, my goodness me, poor soul, yes. Scotty, do you make appearances at Gaffs? Of course I do. I appear all the time. Um, I appear lots and lots of times. That's like that lovely one in the morning at a court case. And um, the judge was there, and he looked round, and he said, Mr. Campbell. And this lawyer said, yes, sir, I appear for the prosecution. He said, thank you, Mr. Campbell. He said, Mr. McDonald. He said, I appear, my lord, for the defence. And he said, yes, thank you very much, uh, Mr. McDonald. And he said, and Mr. Anderson. And this lawyer stood up, put his case under his arm, and said, I appear, my lord, to be in the wrong courtroom. Uh, Any tea tonight, says Richard. No, I've got the hot cocoa tonight. And um, he's still alive, says David Rafferty. Fantastic. I've got my headphones in now, Scotty. Here's Frank calling. Hello, hello, Frank. Can you hear me? Uh, is, is that you? Uh, Scotty, yes. We don't need to do is that you. We know it's me. Me? Oh, say, you know what? I'm still watching an eye broadcast. You're watching the broadcast, Frank. I can hear you, yeah, aye. You can aye. hear us. That's excellent. Well, I'm just getting a bit confused. We are two things. That's fantastic. Right. right. So I went to talk, talk about Theresa May. Theresa May, yes. Right. So how, how is she our Prime Minister? She wasn't elected. No, no, but Gordon Brown wasn't elected either, Frank. How is he our Prime Minister? Exactly. This is what it's all about. We uh, need to work out you should only be Prime on. Minister if you're elected. And, and you know, how, how did George Bush get, get... get the presidency? Uh, the president? How, how president. did he get a son? Well, his father had been the president, you see. That uh, is great madness. Yes. We need to stop, stop all this. We need to stop it, Frank. Fair point. Right, that's Frank there. Now then, uh, Jarvis says, not working, can't get it, Scotty. It's awfully frustrating. Jarvis, I don't know what you're on about. You're the only human being on the planet that doesn't seem to be able to get Scotty McClue. Are you on the right Facebook page? That's what we need to know. Right, uh, Frank sounds like an SNP clone, says Sandy. Sandy... Where did you develop your love for the SNP? Um, so there you go. I, I, you're, you're amazing. You're a Scotsman, so why would you not be an SNP man? Teresa, um, oh no, we're not saying that. What sort of life has Frank got when he has to come on here talking like that, says George Mullen. Fair point, George. Has Frank been on the fag, Scotty, says Dino the Doug. I think so. He needs some sore throat medicine and cut down on the fags. It's amazing the number of people. Hang on, I'm just having a, a short mop down. Whew, it's warm in here. Whew, whew. It's the lights, it's the lights, it's incredible. Oh, the lights are tremendous. Yes, I did, I did my own switch on. Now then, 
It's amazing the number of followers you have on Facebook who remember your past ventures, says John Gatons. Absolutely, John. Well, we've been around a long time. I spent 35,000 hours in people's houses, three hours a night of solid chat on huge, huge radio stations in major markets throughout the UK. And I would like to be doing that for the next 10, 12 years uh, because we haven't even scratched the surface. So there you are. Um, you tell Sandy how it is, Scotty. Good for you, sir. Says Malachachum O'Chorichin. Sexy eyes, says Tricia Freeman. I bet you have, love. Uh, what did Teresa say, Scotty? Well, we're not going to that. You need to tidy your bookcase, says Rona. Oh, did you see that? When I, yes, a wee bit of a shambles at the moment. That's only one bookcase, Rona. That's a tiny one. That's just the desk stuff for quick reference. The, va the vast majority of the electorate do not vote for the SNP, Scotty. What are you on about? 56 MPs? There's barely room for anything but the SNP, Sandy. I sometimes wonder what you're doing when you're out there. Are you picking strange plants or something like that? Virtually everybody in Scotland has voted for the SNP. We have 56 members of Westminster. And remember, I'm not a nationalist person. I'm not an SNP guy. I'm not a political animal. I'm not even a politician. I just am telling you that that's the truth. So funny. Can't understand it. Diane, little head bomb, says, Hello, Scotty and Tukasis. Dinky do to you, Diane. George Gaitans, well remembered and well loved by many, says John Gaitans. You're in my house more than me, Scotty, says George Raffin. George, I think, was the guy that was going, Oh, listen, I don't like your Sunday night, but you're taking over Facebook. You're not listening to me, Scotty. Crunch the numbers. I've crunched them, Sandy. 56 out of 58 MPs in Parliament. Is it out of 58 or is it out of 61? There's crunch these numbers, Sandy. You have a good old crunch on them and see how you get on. Uh, virtually everyone in Scotland is SNP. In fact, you're about the only old Labour boy I've ever met in years. And uh, can you tell us, uh, now I'm not mentioning companies, uh, and I can't mention that. Uh, Nigel Farage's wife won't let him have the remote control in case he breaks it. <laughs> Scotty, my mate, Kier has three buds on the go. What are your thoughts? Should we be allowed more than one wife? Tell us what you think. Uh, the electorate, Scotty, the electorate, the electorate have voted for the SNP. That is why there's 56 MPs in the House of Commons, Sandy. And check the Scottish Parliament. There shouldn't actually be any unionist parties in there because it's a Scottish Parliament. Frank McConnell says, I am SNP. Well, as you know, Scotty McClure is not really political, but obviously Scotland could manage fine on its own and would do very well. And if that wasn't the case, then Westminster would have let Scotland go years ago. They'd have dropped it like a hot tatty. £40 billion pounds we sent to Westminster last year. I only said you put on too many posts, says George Mullen. George, you can never put on too many posts. There was a guy last night and he said to me, he said, I am sick of you posting this message uh, on broadcast forums and it was just that ITV could do the Scotty McClue show it would be massive and I said well I've only done it twice so I think there's something else wrong with you you turn yourself out so smart no time to tidy the bookcase says Lynn Lynn it's just I was searching for books earlier and a few fell down so a big deal okay you can tidy it for me evening Scotty says Catherine dinky do Who'd want more than one wife? Sometimes one is too many, says George Mullen. So there you are. And uh, I know somebody who calls his wife Hun all the time. He doesn't love her. She's a German lady. Um, bad enough with one wife, never mind another one. I passed a graveyard the other day, um, a churchyard, and there was a guy standing in floods of tears, staring at a grave in the ground. And he was going, why did you have to die? Why did you have to die? And I said to him, I'm terribly sorry, I don't want to impose, but is it close family? He went, no, I never met him. It was my wife's first husband. Right, so what's your favourite song, Scotty? I think it's got to be Hail Caledonia. Hail Caledonia. There we go. And uh, Craig Hosey, is that a fact? He says, yeah, what is what a fact, Craig? We're sort of, we don't know where we are now, actually. Do you think Lead Hill should be in the STV weather map because it's the start of the Clyde and a mile from Scotland's highest village, Wan Lock Head? 
No, Kenneth Clark, yes, Lead Hills should be on the STV weather map. Lead Hills should be everywhere. I used to work for Border Television, which is now ITV Border. The company itself isn't broadcasting from Carlisle. And uh, they got well, well up into the borders, Drum Landrig, and uh, I'm sure they would be up to Lead Hills. Did you get STV or Border Television in Lead Hills? You tell me. The more wives, the better, says Steve Burrows. And uh, the show Wan Lockhead on the map, says Dan McWilliams. Yes, of course, it's very, very high. Super Village Wan Lockhead, and you've got the reading room in Wan Lockhead. Very, very nice. So there you go. Oh, there's my daughter joined us, says George Mullen. So there you are. Now, I make no apologies, guys. But share and share and share. Spend your week sharing. Do it for the old guy here. Because we're building something very, very special. And let's face it. There's nothing special been built recently in the world. There's very little good news comes out of the world. And here's Scotty McClue with great news on a Sunday night for one hour on Facebook Live. Spread the good news, I say. Get yourself a ringtone there ready and available right now on Scotty McClue's website, www.scotty-mcclue.com. If you're in a position to make a donation, and I know a lot of you are not flush these days, and I get so touched when some people who I know are probably financially challenged send a donation to me, Scotty McClue, because they love the show. Even if it's a pound, five pounds, ten pounds, twenty pounds, fifty pounds, five thousand pounds, fifty thousand pounds, PayPal is there at scotty-mcclue.com. Get yourselves on there and pop something in. But also, if you're wanting a return on your money, get an immediate return. Buy yourself a ringtone for your mobile phone for under a fiver. Richard McKay and 26 others have shared the video. Yes, we're past the share point. We're coming up to another. Can everybody share right now? Share Share, 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 share. Do it. All right. Um, top Scottish comedian, Craigie Boy. Absolutely, Rona. Yes, indeed. Scotty cheers everyone up, says Cody Richardson. Thank you for that. Here's Richard Mackay calling. We'll see what he's saying. Hello, Richard. Dinky you do. You're through to Scotty McClure. Hello, Scotty. This is Richard. Hello, Richard. What's happening with you? Are you having a fine time? Oh, I'm having a fine time, Scotty. Thank you very much for having this broadcast. I absolutely love it. I've just been uh, introduced to it lately. Ah. But I remember I used to watch you when I was very young, and it's good to be back. So thank you to you, Scotty. Thank you to you, Richard, and thanks for your call. Very much appreciated. You are very welcome. The uh, discussion tonight is um, how many wives is it you like? Uh, how many wives should be, you'd be allowed more than one wife in the Western world? Yeah, well, that's correct, Scotty. I've actually been living in the United Arab Emirates for uh -huh. seven years. And believe it or not, Scotty, um, you know, the people over there, they they are allowed to have more than one wife. And um, the more wives you have, the better. So what do you think about that, Scotty? Are you for that or are you against it? I think I'll get myself to the United Arab Emirates. You think so? Oh, think that's ASAP. A good idea, but... <laughs> what, do you yeah. remember, though? If it's happy wife, it's happy life, so that's a lot of money there, Scotty. It certainly is, absolutely, yes. I shall save up my camels. <laughs> Definitely, Scotty. Richard, lovely to hear you. Are you calling from the UAE? I am, in, 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 indeed, Scotty. Where about are you? Now I'm in, London in, I'm in London now for university, but I was living there for seven years. But after my university degree and I get my teaching degree, I'll be back over. The United Arab Emirates, I love it. The over there. Tremendous. Lovely to talk to you, Frank. Frank, what part are you in? Oh, he's away. Right, not to worry about that. Okay, fantastic. United Arab Emirates. You can't drink there, says George Mullen. I don't need to drink, George. I don't drink. Uh, Scotty, my mate Div has a stall at the Barras and he's wondering if you'd like to buy shares. There's going to be a huge jump in profits in his sock department coming up to Christmas. Yeah, fantastic. I remember 48 years ago, we have the recording and cassette somewhere. The subject for discussion was single mothers, says James Howard. Hello, Frank. Dink you do. Hey, Scotty. So, sorry about that. That's okay. That's okay, Frank. 
Any questions? I'm a technical issue, but you're fine now. I'm all, I'm all right now. Excellent. You know. Excellent. If you, uh, am I talking with something else, uh, Scotty? Go on, Frank. Uh, have you heard of the Mandela Effect? The what effect? The Mandela Effect. The Mandela Effect, yes, I've seen it. Oh, what do you think? Do you think, yeah? do you think it's real? Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> now then, uh, did you know they had phones in Kilburnie? Says George, that's tremendous. Kilburnie some place. I'll tell you, they're great down there with the electric light and everything. One wife is good for me, says Rob Dunn. Guys, can we have another share? Share, 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 share. Get Scotty McClure shared out there because we are building this phenomenon of a program on Facebook Live. And think about the theory. Josh McDonald wants a demo of the ringtone. Go on the website and you'll get one, Josh. But uh, that's not the quality you'll get them at. You'll get them at top quality. We've had to degrade the quality to save people cloning them. Frank, the SMP clown again, says Sandy Howden. Sandy, get it into your thick skull. There is no such thing as an SNP clown. These people are very, very sensitive. I was reading The Flag in the Wind by John McCormick, the start of the um, SNP, and it was your lot, the Labour lot, that started the National Party. So you should back them. You're betraying your, your roots there. Sonny and Cher, says William Black. Yes, wonderful. Say hi to my mum and dad. We're watching, says Craig Patterson. How are you doing, Scotty? Is it real, says Frank McConnell. Yes, Frank, it is real, whatever you're talking about. You're talking about the program, or you're talking about the Mandela effect. I'll look it up for you. What's your favourite, Scotty, says Keir Ferguson, mince and tatties, or steak pie? I love them both equally. It depends. Uh, they're very good, wholesome food. And although I'm not allowed the tatties at the moment, disgust trident, says Dan McWilliams, right? That's it, uh, disgust. Arthur Donaldson, I write, Scotty. Sandy, no, we're talking about the Duke of Montrose. We're talking about R.B. Cunningham Graham. We're talking about um, John McCormick, very fine Glasgow solicitor. We're talking about all these wonderful people who uh, came from your lot, from your mob, from the old Labour Party. And Keir Hardy, uh, you'll remember him and the rest of it. So come on, Sandy, you get into the National Party there and you can realise your proper roots. Stop betraying your country, I say. Uh, hi to my Mrs. Fiona, who's busy making Christmas decorations, says Rob Dunn. Dinky do, you can't beat the pie, says William Black. You cannot beat a bit of pie, William, you're quite right. And uh, who else have we got? Stephen says, hang on, folks, <coughs> a wee sip of water. Hmm. Oh, well, oh, that's gorgeous. I've not got the big pipe mug with me. The Mandela Effect is a theory of parallel universes based on the idea that because large groups of people have similar alternative memories about past events. I like the sound of that, Stephen. Thank you. Very much appreciated. This is the beauty of live broadcasting. We can update ourselves right away. Hold on, folks. We wipe down. Ooh! A wee wipe down, a wee wipe down, a wee freshen up for the nation. And then Scotty McClure is back at his station. Right, uh, I can't manage it, Scotty. I'm away to make a bit of toast and read the Bruins. How's your twin Daphne get on these days, by the way, love? Absolutely, Daphne's good. How's your friend Big Hen, Jarvis? Jarvis, I can't understand how you can't get this program. You're the only man on the planet who can't. Can we discuss my Duke of Argyles? Ian, you're a McEwen, so you shouldn't be related to them, I wouldn't have thought, but you never know. And uh, the show is nearing the end, and there's nothing about the cyclist tax. Come on, Scotty. Well, if you ride a bike, Sandy, I would like uh, you to be taxed, actually. Um, hey, Scotty, since I shared, 15 people have joined us, says Gary. Fantastic. Are you on at Christmas, Captain, says George Raffin. I'll tell you what I'm thinking, George. I think we can maybe do a Christmas special and a New Year special here on Facebook Live because this program is just growing and growing and growing. It's bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, we're into thousands over the week, but everybody must share and everybody must put their notifications on and notify that Scotty McClue goes live and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 and talk about it. Fantastic. 
What's the boat's name in the mutiny on the bounty? Says George Mullen. I think it might be the bounty. In fact, that's bound to be the name. Um, any thoughts on our school, says Josh? Yes, of course, wonderful school. Uh, Scotty, are you and Tom Weir in the same league? I think probably I was a great fan of Tom's, and I remember Molly, of course, as well, and we both worked for Scottish Television. You're looking down your nose over your glasses. It's very patronising, Scotty. Oh, sorry, Jen, I'll look up like that. Is that less patronising for you, Hen? Right, um, who else have we got? 34 have just shared the video. Can we have more, please? More sharing and sharing. Also, can you look me up on Twitter? If you've got a Twitter account, go on there, follow Scotty McClue and start retweeting. And also get yourself on, on the Twitter account. You will see that the link now works. It now works to the YouTube site. So get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. Very, very important. Okay, my loves. Right. Uh, get snapshots, Scotty. Trust me, that would also widen the audience. Yes, and somebody came up with another one uh, uh, this week. It's an app called, I think it's You Now. Shared, Scotty. How are you tonight? Says Robert Abercrombie. I'm fabulous. I'm absolutely fabulous, Robert, and thank you for sharing. Everybody who shares in my eyes is a hero. Share Scotty McClure. It's tremendous. I agree, Elliot, says Richard Mackay. Molly Weir, The Tenement Tales on STV. Absolutely. I think that this show would go very well on STV Glasgow. So if anybody's got an in to STV Glasgow, let them know. Have Scotty McClure live for an hour on a Friday night or something like that on STV Glasgow. I'm away, 1980 and Dinky Doo says, Melko Hale Machor Chin Ha 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 Chima Kabra Ha U Koshin Koshin. If Tom we are, oh my goodness me. Right, uh, will you play Jimmy Shand at the New Year, Scotty, says, says Jada. Jada, the only problem is when this gets uploaded to Facebook because you're then into copyright and things like that. Wow, dapper Scotty, when you lift your head up. Oh, am I not just? Am I not just? There you go. Uh, here we've got Peter calling. Hello, Peter. Hello, Peter. Hello. Can you hello, hear me? Uh, hello, 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 Dinky Doo. You're through to Scotty McClure. Dinky Doo, Dinky -doo Peter. Off. Thank you, Peter. That was absolutely lovely. There we go. What a fine fellow. Same, he's got a limited vocabulary. We'll just block him now. Hold on. There we go. And that is Peter. And he is blocked. Lovely. So, we'll never hear from him again. I can tell you that. How fabulous was that, folks? That's Peter Blocked. Right, prime time, Scotty. And uh, says Dan, yes, I think this show should take the spot of the X Factor. So there you are. What are your thoughts on... I don't know what that is, actually. The hour has flown by. I can't get enough of your shows, Scotty, says Francis King. And a shout out to Innes, says Josh. Absolute gosh, look at the time, eight minutes to ten. Let's have another share, 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 share. Now, every single one of you, and tell ten to tell ten to tell ten to tell ten about Scotty McClure on Facebook Live, go and pick up your ringtones at Scotty McClure's website. Over ten million people have visited Scotty McClure's website. Over ten million. That's not bad, is it? And I believe I may have up to seven billion fans. And uh, so, can you give us a shout out to Stuart? Uh, says Jamie Wood McFarlane. Yes, I can. Peter's a clown, says Douglas William Bryce. Yes, an absolute half witted idiot, Peter. But there you are. You can't do anything about it. That poor soul has to live with himself now that he, that's all that his vocabulary stretches to. <laughs> poor thing. There you are. Bye bye, Peter, says Jada. Bye bye, Peter. Bye bye. Scotty saying bye bye, Peter. Peter's blocked. Woo! Um, hi, Scotty. I've got 10 out of 10 shows, says Charles McLaughlin. Excellent, Charles. Uh, Josh Raffin says, thanks for the show. Sorry about the good joke. No, not at all. Um, and right, thoughts on badgeons. Well, this week I was hearing that uh, we have to get a new um, title for people and we have to say these are people with a conviction. That's what we have to call them. But I think, what about thieves, con men, embezzlers? They are rapists. These sort of people, that's the kind of title that these short folks should have, not just someone with a conviction. 
Uh, what about the rugby at the weekend? Scotty, great result. I love my rugby. I used to play tight head prop. I was tight head prop. Uh, and second row, second row, I'd play second row as well. Hi Craig Morris, there's Rob Dunn of course, and I also was a great rower, I used to row, rowing. I put it down in my CV, and of course they thought it was rowing. That's how the programme started. What number of shows is this, says George Mullen? Show number 10, George. 10 shows, but we're still in our infancy. So if somebody's feeling flush and they'd like to donate at www.scotty-mcclue.com, it's PayPal there, they'll get a receipt. Fantastic. You want to stick a tenner or ten grand in. Uh, what's your goal from doing this Facebook Live thing, says Richard Mackay. Well, a friend of mine said, you'll noise up people that thought they'd seen the last of you, Scott. <laughs> and he's right. So I think that's the goal. So there you go. Um, I mind this clown from Scott FM, says William Thompson. Yes, he phoned up then, William. You are quite right. That is the same clown. So he's obviously waited about 25 years to speak to Scotty McClure. We are the people, says Stephen Clark. My goal is also to build a massive, massive show for the people because there's nothing just for ordinary folk who can come on and talk or put their point on Facebook. So this is the right vehicle for this programme. There's no doubt about it. McClure, your show's improved by leaps and bounds in the last 10 minutes. Can you repeat the last 10 minutes for the Christmas special? Well, we'll get it up on YouTube there, Gordon Stirling. And congratulations, Gordon Stirling. This is the first time I've heard you say something positive. So we're delighted. Well done. Hi, buddy. Keep up the good work, says Jim Thompson. Who is this calling? Numpty Heat. And we just got time to squeeze in Numpty Heat. Hello, Numpty Heat. Dinky do, Mr. McClue. Dinky do. Can you hear me lovely and clear now? Absolutely. Your sound technician's doing a wonderful oh, job. Hey, the sound people are wonderful here. They're sound, I would say. They're out in this world. There's George Mullen saying, this guy made Scott FM. That's right. Uh, there were three is he talking about me? I, I think he probably is, Dumpty Heed, yes. Absolutely. Scotty. Uh, yes, we've squeezed can you, remember, you in. can you remember the Tufty Club? Oh, wow. Can I not just? How can you remember the Tufty Club, Dumpty Heed? You're too young for the, for the Tufty Club. Not at all, Scott. It was, it I was tell road you, safety. I'm getting it, old. No. Tufty was road safety. Absolutely. Before the Green Cross Code. Before the women drivers. Mm. I was trying. <laughs> I've just spilt water down my suit. I was trying to. Um, I was trying to cross the road one time, and this guy came along and he said, "There's a zebra crossing just down the road." I said, "Well, I hope he's having more luck than me." Was that the horse in the striped pajamas? Horse in the striped pajamas. Oh, I've wonderful. seen that too. It's wonderful stuff, and I'll tell you, I had some roast pelican in a restaurant one night, you know, and it tasted okay, but the bill was huge. <laughs> Listen, Scott, have yes. you heard of the three wise men? The three wise men? Go on. Where will I find the other two? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Stick your tongue out and say ta ta la! Da da! Da da! That's Numpty Heed. He's gone, absolutely. Cheery by Numpty Heed, we say. Fine fellow, he's in Edinburgh. Richard, you agree too much, says Elliot Seth Faber. Do you think so, Elliot? I agree, George. Shared Scotty. Um, so what have we got here? I agree with you, Elliot. Yes, everybody's agreeing with each other. Excellent. Right, what time we go? Oh, my goodness. We've only got three minutes left, folks. So what to do is... Share, 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 and spend the night sharing. I'll upload this program onto YouTube as well. You'll get it on Facebook. I make no apology. You will get a lot of shares during the week, but please accept them graciously. I give you shares. I give you knowledge with good grace. Accept them graciously. And um, and keep sharing and tell 10 to tell 10. Very important. Uh, I think Scott is sitting in his boxers, says Glenn. Now, now, Glenn. Um, George Mullen, uh, nice to hear from you. So there you go. Lol, says Gary. Don't start on women drivers, says George. A shout out to Suraj Chatterjee. Suraj Chatterjee, a shout out to you. Charles McLaughlin, Scotty, you're the only man who's got the whole of Scotland putting their TVs off. We actually see televisions and radios off at 10 o'clock on Sunday night now because Scotty McClue is live on Facebook Live. Think about it in theory. Facebook Live, this program could put television and radio out of business. It could actually see you don't need it. 
just go on Scotty McClure Facebook Live. Wonderful. Enough, Glenn, says Innes. Quite right. That'll do. Settle down, everybody. Never heard so much nonsense in my life. Great show, Scotty, says Jim Robin, a very fine computer man. If you ever need a computer fix, Jim Robin is an incredible guy. Fantastic. So there you are. Wonderful, wonderful. A real wizard uh, with stuff. It's terrific. And um, time up, Scotty. Dinky do, says Jada. Hello from Maine in the USA, says Joanna K. Jackson. Joanna K. Jackson from Maine in the US of A. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McLuhan Facebook Live. And to all our American viewers, can I say to you, my fellow Americans, I sent you a Thanksgiving message during the week. Get it on YouTube, get it on Facebook Live, and have a listen to it. Night, night, and thanks. See you next week, Scotty, says Francis King. Stu says, hello, he's just joined us. James Howard's hard work. Uh, when you're doing a shift with him. Scotty, will you sing your goodbye song? It always makes me smile, says Yvonne Boyd McLennan. Hello from Glasgow and ta la So marvellous stuff, right? Um, we've got one minute left, and then I'll sing you the goodbye song. Bye-bye, Scotty. A great show tonight. Agnes and I are trying for a baby, says Gordon. Oh, you remind me of a joke, which I can't tell on air. ta la says Lee Buckinshaw down in South Yorkshire. Joanna K. Jackson is following me. Thanks, Joanna. Spread the word across America. And a bye, Scotty, says Richard Mackay. To all of you, I say good night. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you so much for sticking with us for the full hour. Thank you for all your messages. Thank you for your shout outs. Thank you very much, of course, for your Skype calls. I do sincerely apologize for the half witted, thick headed idiot that phoned up in the middle of it, but he's a poor, poor soul. There you are. Giuseppe Bashati has just joined us, and I say to him, Ciao, Giuseppe. And I'm going to say, Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of we Tarzan. Au revoir and a cheerio. Have a fabulous week, folks. Join us next week at the same time. Lots of sharing. Spread the word until the same time next week. This is Scotty McClure saying, Dinky-doo to you.